Well, to be honest, I just decided I would share my own story about dealing with post-traumatic stress when I got back from Iraq because I said I'm applying for the top leadership position in the country. I, I ought to lead by example. I've talked about mental health. I've advocated for veterans' mental health for a long time. But I never had the courage until this year to share my own story about how I came back, had um, you know some tough memories from Iraq, uh, sometimes would wake up in a cold sweat, um, felt just kind of disengaged in school. And I told the story about how I had this image. One of the images I brought back was of this, this young boy, this five-year-old boy um, lying in the middle of a road who'd been, uh, had been shot up and, um, and how that was a tough image to live with. I can't even imagine. And, um, and I never told that story before. And I'd never explained how it used to kind of haunt me. But then I went and saw a therapist and now it's under control. Thank God. And actually, I think I've really been strengthened by that experience. And, and I, I know what it's like to make wow. life or death decisions and have to live and with I, the consequences, which, by the way, is unlike everybody else in this whole race. And I can't even imagine that. Right? So the thing that. is, I've been talking yeah. about this, advocating for mental health. It's something we got to deal with. It should be just normal. If you get an annual physical, you should get an annual yes. mental health checkup. It's nothing, nothing crazy or strange. Like, just mm-hmm. let's just deal with it, mm-hmm. take care of it, move on. And by the way, there's been some great presidents like Abraham Lincoln that have dealt with mental health issues, mm-hmm. um, and they've done so successfully. That we should have, be the message for everybody. 